Throughout the year, in every state, teachers are waking up in cities, rural communities, and places in between, going through the rituals of getting ready and thinking about how to help Kayla write a story, letting the dog out, and wondering how to help Matt connect the sounds he hears with the letters he's writing. Getting the kids ready and thinking about how today you're going to introduce the metaphor or the great American novel. Feeding the cat, eating breakfast, and looking forward to your students present their research on water. Commuting to school and worrying about the students in your classes who come to school distracted by hunger or tired from taking care of younger siblings. <laughs> and then the students are there. You're there. And it's about the symbiotic nature of teaching and learning. The rain came down like a flock of birds landing in a field of dry grass. The thunder roared like a lion in the winter breeze. The lightning struck with good might, and in the morning it was wet. Once the students have left, we prepare for the next day. And on the days and times that we can, we gather with other teachers to examine teaching practice, participate in inquiry groups, and learn in the presence of other writers writing. Every time there are two or more of us gathered face to face or through digital means, it is a welcome reminder that there are great teachers in all schools who every day are making a difference in the lives and academic achievement of students. I am a bricklayer of words, mixing, trawling, leveling across and down pages. I am an architect of minds, designing, scaffolding, creating new pathways of understanding. I am a sculptor of attitudes, chiseling, molding, shaping a love of learning. I am a gardener of feelings, planting, nurturing, fertilizing respect for self and others. I am an engineer of self-esteem, constructing, connecting, casting a positive foundation. I am a caregiver of the innocent, helping, comforting, protecting the children I see. I am a teacher. And at the end of the day, we head home. <laughs> to families, to exercise, to grading papers, preparing and eating dinner, helping our kids with their homework, paying bills, Grading assignments, reading, cleaning, more grading. And thinking about tomorrow's lessons. And at some point, sleep. My mom, like all of us, was a teacher who worked hard every day. She taught me not to wait for anyone to come and save me. <laughs> Collectively, we are teachers. We are the superheroes in our schools. I could not resist, <laughs> could not resist. Like many of you, I actually went to see the movie as well. I felt like I had to. And I went on a day where I was hoping that the theater wouldn't have many people in it. I also decided to sit, you know, a little farther back from the screen and not take any sharp objects. <laughs> I figured popcorn couldn't do much damage. And it certainly didn't disappoint in terms of being disappointing. I will say that all of you deserve a round of appreciation for what you do 
every day, and I am humbled to work on your behalf. Thank you. Across the network, we have accomplished a great deal during the past year. We have inducted over 3,300 teachers through their participation in summer institutes. We have provided local sites more than 7,500 professional development activities for more than 130,000 participants. We have published numerous writings by teachers, including monographs, articles, short stories, poems, books, and thousands of blogs and tweets. We have invited, encouraged, assigned, cajoled, copious amounts of student writing, and then we have read, suggested edits, graded, or otherwise provided feedback to our students. We have engaged actively in inquiry about our practice and published our second research brief that reported the impact of writing project teacher leaders have on student achievement in writing and in all sorts of communities. We have communicated the value of the writing project for teachers and students, which resulted in continued support from our institutions of higher education and Congress. And true, since its beginning in 1974, the National Writing Project has been a leader in providing high-quality professional development programs for teachers dedicated to improving the instruction of writing in our nation's schools. A hallmark of the National Writing Project has been its nationwide network of teachers at all levels in a variety of disciplines who work together to improve student achievement. Since the 1970s, tools we use to craft the written word have changed dramatically. It's hard to believe that it's been more than 30 years since we celebrated the IBM Selectric with its self-correcting feature to the collaborative writing and editing spaces that we use today. And in the midst of all of these changes, one of the things that we can count on is that each generation will find new ways to do things. Today, young people are writing stories and sharing photos and recording audio and video clips on their cell phones. And I have to say, I mean, it does take creativity to improve upon how we pass notes in class. <laughs> it's gone digital. All of these forms of communication and connecting with people affirm the strong need for writing skills today and in the future. And NWP, based on the, the work that all of you have done, has grown tremendously in the past decade. The number of local sites has increased by a third. And NWP program sites are now within reach of nearly 80% of the nation's educators. And we have expanded the NWP infrastructure to better help local writing project sites respond to the challenges of changing economic and educational landscapes, including addressing the literacy needs of learners in, in settings beyond the traditional classroom. In the past year, I've read one book twice, and that was a book called Better by Atul Awande. Before reading this book, I often viewed the word better as in opposition to bad, rather than an embodiment in one word of things that I admire about the writing project, a culture of continuous learning. Now is a good time to take a collective breath we're already doing great work in local schools across the network and the nation as we seek to deepen our understanding about the instruction of writing and become even better. And we will do this in ways that we've always done that, by leveraging the knowledge and expertise of teachers. We've identified three strategic directions, expand access to high quality, relevant, professional learning and leadership opportunities for educators. In order to provide more young people with communication, knowledge, and skills they need for academic and professional success, we need to expand our work to those educators whom we've not previously reached or those teachers who have been underserved by the project. 
Increasing access to NWP programs requires that we expand how we think about the delivery of professional development programs. With the rapid change in technologies and approaches to writing and the teaching of writing, we will work with our partners in the network to develop new professional development programs that offer face-to-face -face and online opportunities. We have the capacities of a network to provide customized, locally defined and delivered professional development on a national scale. Strategic direction number two, engage in research on writing, the teaching of writing, and professional development and better, to better inform educational policy programs and practice in the country. We are able to demonstrate that NWP professional development programs do make a significant difference in those classrooms and communities where teachers are participating in NWP programs. And I will say the fact that we can prove that we make an impact has made a difference. There's not a person that I meet with on Capitol Hill that doesn't want to know how can you prove it? Can you show impact? And they are pleased when we're actually able to back that up with our research briefs. And the fact that we are in a national evaluation right now that is a five-year project, that we're just now in the fourth year of that program. And the other thing that we're able to do is that we participate in national conversations about education policy. NWP is included in these conversations because our perspective is informed by teacher practice and research. I know that it made a significant difference when I was asked to testify last spring in front of the Ed and Labor House Committee that I was able to bring one of our teacher leaders with us. They appreciated the fact that they could actually hear from a teacher and not just hear from, you know, a, a talking leader administrator. Um, and every time that you reach out, whether it's in the local level or when you come to D.C., it does make a tremendous difference. They may never remember meeting me, but Every single office I go into, they remember meeting the teachers, and they remember receiving student work. They love that. Strategic direction number three, collaborate with others to maximize strategic partnerships and extend the impact of our work. Owing in large part to the more than two decades of successful work and advocacy by NWP teacher leaders across the networks, we are able and poised to leverage those efforts for new partnerships and increase support for NWP. Many of you know that over a number, we've received a Carnegie Corporation grant over six years, that we're now in our second MacArthur Award from the MacArthur Foundation, and that recently we've received a Gates Award from the Gates Foundation, of which we've, there are teacher leaders from four to six different local sites who are really helping us with that project. And I believe that more of those types of projects are on their way. And it has to do, again, with the work that you do. We are already doing great work in every local site across the network and the nation. These strategic directions are an important step forward in making NWP programs and services available to more teachers throughout the country. The goal of reaching as many teachers as possible throughout the nation will be accomplished by establishing new professional development programs that offer both face-to-face -face and online learning opportunities, increasing programs for new teachers and teachers in critical content areas, and expanding research on the program's impact on teachers and students. Over the past 36 years, we have taken a, we have taken a good idea and become a great force for good in the lives of our students. Going forward, we will increase our reach and our impact and collectively become even better. Thank you for all that you do every day.